if t is equal to 10 theta over 2, so let's construct a triangle triangle. So 10 theta over 2 is equal to t, if you like, but t is just equal to t over 1. So 10 is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is t. So this is opposite, so which is t. And then adjacent is 1, so t over 1. So that's what um, we have here. And then from Pythagoras' theorem, we can find out the hypotenuse. See, the hypotenuse is 1 square plus t square and square root of that. So now let's work out tan of theta in term of t. So tan of theta is exactly the same as tan of theta over 2 plus theta over 2. So from trick identity, we know that tan of a plus b is equal to tan of a plus tan of b over 1 minus tan a tan b. So this is a, this is b if you like. So this is equal to tan a plus tan b is equal to tan of theta over 2 plus tan of theta over 2 again. Because b is theta over 2 as well. Over 1 minus tan a. So tan a is tan of theta over 2 times tan b. So tan b also theta over 2. To simplify this, so we know that tan theta over 2 plus tan theta over 2 is equal to 2 tan theta over 2 or over 1 minus tan theta over 2 and tan theta over 2 of course is tan squared theta over 2. So which equal to? Now because t is equal to tan theta over 2 or the tan theta over 2 is equal to t so we just substitute that in there, so that becomes 2t over 1 minus t squared. So therefore, tan theta is equal to 2t over 1 minus t squared. Please remember this for me. Let's work out cos theta in terms of t. So cos theta is, is equal to cos of theta over 2 plus theta over 2. So now, remember the, the trick identity. So cos of a plus b is equal to cos of a cos of b minus sine of a and psi of b. So this is a and this is b. So this means that is equal to cos of a which is theta over 2 and cos of b, b is also theta over 2 minus psi of a which is a is theta over 2 and then psi of b, b is theta over 2 as well. So which is equal to cos squared theta over 2 minus psi squared theta over 2. So cos is adjacent, adjacent over hypotenuse. That is hypotenuse. So which is equal to 1 over 1 plus t squared square root. And of course cos squared theta over 2. So we just have to square that. And minus sine of theta over 2 squared, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so which is t over 1 plus t squared. Square root, of course, which is copied that out, so which is square. So remember, a over b all square is equal to a square over b square. So which equal to 1 square is 1, Square root square, so which is cancel out, so which is equal 1 plus t square. Minus t square over 
1 plus t square. So is equal to 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square. So I just write therefore cos of theta is equal to 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square. Please take note on this. Now let's work out psi theta in term of t. So psi theta is equal to psi theta over 2 plus theta over 2. So remember from the um, trick identity, so psi a plus b is equal to psi of a cos of b plus cos of a and psi of b. So this is a and this is b. So psi a cos b, so which is psi a is theta over 2 and then cos b and b is theta over 2 as well. And then add cos of a which is cos of a, a is theta over 2 so just go theta over 2 as well and then which is psi of b, b is theta over 2. So which equal to, now just simplify because they are like term so which is equal to 2 psi theta over 2 cos theta over 2. So which equal to 2 times psi theta over 2. So psi is opposite over hypotenuse. So which is t over 1 plus t square and square root of that of course. And times by cos theta over 2. Cos is adjacent which is adjacent over hypotenuse, so which is 1 over 1 plus t square, and square root of that, so which is equal to 2 times t times 1, which is equal to 2t, and the square root of uh, 1 plus t square, and then time by itself, so which is equal to 1 plus t square. So therefore, psi of theta is equal to 2t over 1 plus t square. Please take note of this. So in summary, tan theta is equal to 2t over 1 minus t square. Cos theta is equal 1 minus t square all over 1 plus t square. And sin theta is equal to 2t all over 1 plus t square. So please remember this if you can. So it makes it easier for you to do the exercise. Now let's do a couple examples. So example number one. Find the exact value of 1 minus 10 square 22.5 degrees over 1 plus 10 square of 22.5 degrees. So first of all, we know that 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square is equal to cos of theta where t is 10 of theta over 2. So that is in this form so therefore this is equal to cos of because it's theta over 2 is 22.5 so therefore you double that is 45 degrees. So cos of 45 is equal to 1 over square root of 2. Second one, 1 plus 10 square of 30 degrees over 2 tens of 30 degrees. So we know that 2t over 1 plus t square is equal to psi of theta, which means 1 plus t square over 2t is equal to 1 over psi of theta because psi theta is just like psi of theta over 1. So we flip the both fractions. So the questions now in this form, so it can be equal to 1 over psi of theta. Now remember t is equal to 10 of theta over 2. So theta over 2 is equal to 30 degrees. 
So therefore, theta must be 60 because half of 60 is 30. Don't forget. So which is equal to side of 60. Or you can write 1 over side of 60 degrees is equal to cosec of 60 degrees. Now this is help you remember the third letter, psi. S then for psi. So 1 over psi of 60 degrees is cosec of 60 degrees. So now so we know that psi 60, psi of 60 is equal to root 3 over 2. So cosec of 60 or 1 over psi 60, which is flip this fraction, so which is equal to 2 over square root of 3. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. Question number one. So first of all, we know that 1 minus t square over 1 plus t square is equal to cos of theta. So this means that if we flip these fractions equal to 1 plus t square over 1 minus t square is equal to now cos of theta is just like 1 cos of theta over 1. So we flip that of course. So which is equal to 1 over cos of theta. So this is equal to now theta. Remember t is equal to 10 of theta over 2. So theta over 2 is equal to 60. So therefore theta must be equal to 120. So this is equal to 1 over cos of 120 degrees. Now, 1 over cos, if you like, is equal to sec of 120 degrees. Again, this is the third letter to help you to remember C stands for cos. So sec theta is equal to 1 over cos of theta. So please keep that in mind. So now 120 degrees is in this quadrant here. So from here to here is 120. So therefore the reference angle is 60 degrees. So this in this quadrant, now remember C stands for cos. So sec of 120 degrees is equal to negative sec of 60 degrees. C for cos. Cos of 60 degrees is equal to a half. So therefore, sec of 60, which is flip this fraction, so that become negative 2. Second question. So we know that 2t over 1 plus t square is equal to psi of theta. So this is actually in this form. So therefore, this is equal to psi of 60 degrees because theta over 2 is 30. So which is equal 60. So psi 60 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. Thank you so much for watching.